Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to talk about a cardboard box. <laughs> no, in all seriousness, so we're going to be talking about a USB hub on steroids. It's called the Rosenway 10 port hybrid USB port. 60 watt. The reason I don't actually have the main unit here is because we're running the whole entire show on it right now. I'm recording this and it's all going through that hub. And I'm going to take you over there and show you exactly what we're running on. Welcome to Let's DIY My Home, where like-minded people are working together to tackle their project. Everything from a complicated remodel to as simple as repairing a door. That's Let's DIY My Home dot com. We'll see you there. Now, let's take a quick look at this thing because I don't know how many times in the past I have gone and purchased something like this because I'm out of USB ports, we always are, and it doesn't do what I need it to do. It disconnects. It says 10 gigabit, it says 5 gigabit. But when I plug in all my drives and I plug in my camera that I'm moving the data over to, they could, it just doesn't work. But the reality is, was it the product or was it us? 99% of the time, it's you and I. The key here, did you catch it? 60 watts. This thing is 5 volts. In other words, 5 watts. Not enough power to run the drives, let alone move the data. That's not what that thing was designed to do. We made the error. So, key point. This thing was $25. This thing is $50. Let's take a quick look at it. Here's a photo of it. Upper port. USB-C, two of them. 3.2 gigabits a second along with the 3.2 uh, regular USB. In the middle, you'll see the four blue ones. Those are five gigabit ports. 3.0 ports. Down below that, there's two red ports. That's called fast charging. They don't move data. On the end, it says right down, well, I was going to wave it, but I don't have my doohickey on, so it's not going to show me waving at it. But there's a 20 watt right on the heel of the unit, and that's what I'm actually running the A7 III at that you're looking at right now. We need to look at power. We need to look at data that we want to transfer through it to make sure we get the right hub, and does it have enough ports for our likings. Let's jump over and take a look at this thing because it is shocking. All right, so what are we at all running into this Rosenway hub? Here's a T7 2 terabyte drive plugged in the back port. We have a Samson T9 4 terabyte drive that's plugged in in the back bottom. That's in the USB port of the two of the uh, 10 gigabits. Then we also have a Toshiba 4 terabyte drive plugged in over here on a card reader with three more USB drives and a monitor. And really, should I? Do you guys want to try it? Should we put a monitor in there? We will in just a second. Let's get through this. This is plugged into the 10 terabyte drive. We're going to unplug that screen in behind us and we'll see what happens. We have batteries charging right here. This is running on the front one. We then have of the 5 gigabit port. Then we have this audio device, this Charlotte. Uh, uh, it's a 212 G4 version 4. That is running power off of the front. It's running audio into the 5 gigabit port. These two front power ports, this one runs the Sony ZV-1 directly above you right here. The other one, that's that one, the other one is running this. This one is running all the way across back up to the Sony ZV or the A7 III I should say. We have another one right here that I didn't even point out. That one here is running up and around directly across the back to that Sony right there 
ZV10, which has got a 14 millimeter on it. So we're running all of this powering and data transferring through here to one USB-C port on the back of the PC. Everything you see recording right now on that vMix box that I just shut down, dang it, was running and getting its information from here. Data transfer. Let's do a quick data transfer. And here's a test file. Let's take this test. Well, how many, what size is this? Four and a half gig. We're going to go drop it directly over onto this is oh the t7 drive paste it 500 and average 50 megabytes a second of data being actually moved through a bottleneck wow <sighs> takes care of that doesn't it Here's all the drives. That's not CD. That's all PC rendering. That's there. That's in the PC. Welcome back, everybody. Tell me down below. Really, when you saw what I just ran through that hub, what is going through your mind? What's your thought? Amazing? Shocked? I know I was. I'm going to have a link and everything down below. And, uh, if you choose to purchase from it, we are affiliates, so we do get a small commission, and I thank you for it. It helps me make videos like this. It's a big help. Also, incidentally, you'll see right behind me, here's a set of lasers that we're going to be going across next week. Hit the subscribe button if it's something that you're interested in, and notifications. It'll, uh, this way you will be notified when we do this. These are not just laser level, okay, that we see so much over the inner tube. These are actually pulse laser level they're designed to do what a transit does one and two i got my old one here we'll talk about that too but either way subscribe if you like the video you want to see more uh, uh diy type stuff please hit the like and subscribe button god bless you guys have a fantastic holiday weekend and we'll see you very soon bye now